it might be the same size. You know, we're gonna <laughs> it could be placebo. Ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah should... exactly. All right, so we got uh, Go playing by himself. <laughs> All right, so red team will be Go and the Bowser, and then of course we got Aqua playing Lucina and Camel, of course playing Pikachu. Dude, let's go. First set of the day, my first set ever commentating ultimate. Let's let's get it. We're starting off with uh, Stadium Two. I'm loving that that's the neutral stage. Like that's the that's the first stage if you don't even want to ban. Oh Yo, man, Stadium Two. Mm -hmm. Ten out of ten. Yeah, and I forgot uh, the Bows actually changed his tag to Deviant. Deviant? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Right I'm there. glad. I'm glad that he changed Deviant. it. I was yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. For like the first two weeks of having Ultimate online, I had the Falcon icon, and I was like, oh, I should probably get rid of this soon. <laughs> yep. Looks like right away, though, everybody's staying on even percent. Goat kind of getting tossed around for a lot. But I think out of all the characters, Palutena is going to be one of uh, one of the few that are going to be able to live for a little Ooh, bit longer. I th and I think that was worth it, just based on percent. Uh, Blue team kind of had... Uh, uh, Decent percent lead, and with that stock trade, um, red team was actually able to take the very slight percent lead. Not like a super significant one, but anything's a lead, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Looks like Camel's having a pretty easy time with just slipping in and out. He just has to get those hits in to actually make it worthwhile, you know? Being a little bit of a smaller hurt box is going to be easier to weave in and out of uh, Simon's projectiles and also explosive flame. Yep. Alright, nice save from Goat. It looked like uh, Blue Team was in a prime position to edge guard Deviant there. Yeah. He managed to save him. That's uh, a very important thing about doubles is that you want to be there for your teammate, especially with a character like Simon. You want to be able to make sure that he's going to stay on stage for a majority of the match. Yeah, you want to make your opponent regret hitting your teammate as much as possible. Yep. And it looks like Deviant is doing an incredible job of staying alive. This is one thing he was doing in friendlies as well. It's like making sure he's in a good spot to be able to throw projectiles and also just making sure that he's not getting himself on stage in sticky situations. Oh, yeah, of course. And that explosive flame goal. is so incredible for Goat just to stand behind Simon, still being able to throw out a move and also being protected by that range. Yeah, I was really keeping, uh, I think it was Aqua, uh, from interfering with anything going on in that side of the stage. Wow. Oh, man, what happened? I thought it was going to be a double kill right there. I and it looks like it bit. actually yeah, yeah, will. Yeah. So Ooh. Aqua needing to take that stock from Camel. And what seems like 30 seconds, Red Team has kind of just flipped this game around on its head. Oh, yeah, man. Aqua finally finding a way in. Goat coming to the rescue to save Simon just for a little bit longer. Go really coming in clutch with these dash attacks. I mean, not not right there, but just in general. Yeah. Those dash attacks have really been doing a great job of catching landing. Good conversion off the rapid jab to up air. Yeah, and I wonder how much these guys have been practicing because they seem to have a pretty good feel of how to combo off of each other's like characters' throws. And not even that, they're just good at formation. Like I spot, or like I showed before, go standing behind Simon, being able to throw out those explosive flames. Is just a very good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a minute ago you saw like Camel hit Deviant and Goat was immediately just like explosive flame. That's yeah. fine. Just get my teammate out of this situation. We're two stocks up. We're fine with trading damage. Yeah, I feel like this team in specific, they are really okay with just taking those trades. For example, if Goat gets a grab and Simon just throws out a forward smash. Oh, yeah. You get something like that. Real quick, an, a, a very good lead and a good game for the for red team. But Aqua and Camel, I think they're just trying to get their footing right now. I feel like Camel was doing a really good job just avoiding attacks, but he really needs to step it up and start getting some of that damage knocked on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, like, blue or red team, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. just had such excellent support in that game. It was kind of hard to do anything once they got a lead because they were just in control and they were so good at taking advantage of the fact that they were, they were a couple stocks up. Yeah. And the reason why they were doing such a good job is just they were looking out for each other, not only in the offensive way of getting combos off, but also being there to defend each other whenever they were in a bad spot. Yeah, of course. I think Goat really just being the Goat in that scenario, saving Simon so many times, uh -huh. just getting him out of a bad edge guard situation. We got Aqua switching over to the Luigi counter pick. Oh, yeah. Going to something a little bit more familiar. Yeah, he did He did main uh, Luigi in Smash 4. And that's funny. Uh, Simon and Palu have 
really similar nares, so watching him like nair back and forth yeah. is really funny. And it's also just a great tool to combo with, especially in doubles. And the name of the game right now for Red Team is just take stage control as soon as possible and then just freely throw out your side Bs, your neutral Bs. Oh my gosh, did you see that wall they set up? Like, yeah. he put the, the the holy water down and then, like, he started throwing the forward tilt. Yep, the minute the, the holy water went away, Goat had an explosive flame out right there. Right away. <laughs> Projectiles on deck. What in the world? Fighting from half the stage. This is the best battle. Oh, go! Barely just gonna miss the ledge right there. Let's see if Booty can capitalize on it. Not too much, but they still are able to get a little bit of percent. Oh right. my goodness! I thought that Nair was gonna kill. Oh, yeah, Aqua trying to finally get in the first blood. Yeah, now Camel, the only one remaining with three stocks. Yeah, he's been doing a great job of staying alive. Nobody's really challenging his recovery at all, except for when Go ran off with that Nair. Other than that, it's been pretty easy for Camel to get back. Let's see if he can just put some of this rage to use, and it looks like he won it all. Yeah, I definitely think this Luigi pick's working out a little bit better for Blue Team. Oh, yeah. You know, also the fact that they're able to take the stocks off at the same rate that Red Team is, is working out as well. Yeah, I think it just might be a little bit more comfortable for Aqua, even though the character's a bit different. Um, he's I'm sure he's what he needs to, to look for. Yeah, he's not only used to Luigi, but he's a lot more used to Luigi in doubles. Mm -hmm. That axe, just a perfect throw. He's oh, over oh. a second one, the double <laughs> tip. He said Kobe. Oh, yeah. there's a spike right there, another one. Yeah, good instant up B in response. Yeah. That could have been real bad for Simon, but able to make it back being a decently low percent you know it's not too much of a scare great edge guarding right there just coming from deviant going to the overside giving aqua a little attention great grab from aqua trying to go for a quick up smash he really needs to take a stock off Paulo as soon as possible yeah oh that up he's gonna do it for blue team though yeah that up he take it. kills so deceptively early yeah it's an incredible up and especially with the tech of tech of tilting your shield and mashing up the to, to draw it up B as soon as possible whenever you get hit on shield. Oh my gosh, that option select is so strong. Yeah. Great option select. Oh, finally getting red team in the corner, even though Camel is trying to get back on stage. He's doing a great job using Thunder to still stay in the, the offense. Camel once again going to ridiculously high percent. Let's see if he can hold on to it for a little bit longer. That dash attack so beefy. And the up is as well. Oh my gosh, Aqua just couldn't get away. Palutena is so much faster in this game and it makes her like so good at chasing you down. Yeah, that's one of the best things about Palu. Like I was saying, that dash tech, the only reason why it works so well is because Palu is able to find you whenever you're trying to recover on the stage. This is definitely the team you don't want to go up against whenever you're trying to not grab blood. I like that air dodge from Camel. That was a real good way to uh, yep. kind of beat them into thinking he was landing somewhere else. Yeah, but you definitely thought you definitely saw Deviant just kind of sharking, seeing if he can wait for the up tilt. Great right Nair. Just a get off me move. Oh! Forward throw into up smash. That's looking very scary, but if it was a tipper, it would have done a little bit more damage. Oh that my gosh! Flame? Okay. Yeah, this is a big opportunity for Camel right here. Camel's been can, living to long or higher percents. If he can get Deviant by himself, recovery is the Belmont's biggest weakness, and Pikachu has. Uh, from what we've seen so far, some oh, of the best box. edge guards uh, in the game, possibly. Oh, for sure. Oh, oh my God! That would have broken. Yeah, right. that, that would have broken his shield. I yeah, respect no, the that was, that was ballsy. Oh, side be the character coming through right now. Yeah, Goat is hanging way back because <laughs> he, he knows said, if I he's am not doing anything. Yeah, he knows if he drops that stock, it could very well be perfect. Yeah, that could be a game three real quick. But also, not paying any attention to Simer oh or his God. range. That's a very scary story Camel, as well. Camel's disadvantage oh, mechanics are up unbelievable. Up How is he not dead yet? Oh, oh my what? god, look at all these projectiles, dude, get away! Back here? Yeah. And he waited oh, for the geez. nair, he's so patient! 
Okay. Bro, okay. All right. Oh How gosh. long was that happening for where Camel was yeah, alive? That, that I promise was unbelievable. You, that was at least a minute and 30 seconds of my ass just being clenched the entire time. Did you see the amount of projectiles that came out in like 30 seconds? He just awakened the power of Ultra. <laughs>